Hi, and welcome to another Holistic 3D Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a 360 degree camera. This camera will follow your character around, but it will also allow your character to turn in 360 degrees so that the camera isn't always looking at the back of your character in third person. To begin, you'll need a character of some description that you can move around. This is a model that I've already animated to move around with the arrow keys. Now I've also added onto this model a, a collider so that I can go up and down hills and also a rigid body. But you can put this on anything to follow around a sphere or a car or, or whatever. Um, that's, this is just the model that I've chosen for this example. Okay, so the other thing you need obviously is a camera as well because the camera is going to follow around your character. Now, if you attach your camera to your character, such as drag and drop and make it a child and then press play, as you start to move around, the camera will go everywhere with you. Now, you might want this, but this isn't the 360 thing that we're going for. So because anything that's attached to your character is going to take on the transform of that character as it moves around, you've got no leeway to sort of play with the camera's position as such. So in this case, we actually have to have the camera as a separate object. Now, once you've done that, we have to write some script to control the camera movement. So create a new C-sharp script and call it camera follow 360. And then open that up in an editor. So the camera needs to know about the object that it's going to follow. So at the top of this script, we'll have a public transform and let's just call that player for now and um, when we've got hold of the player we want the camera to actually look at the player so in the update function we will constantly keep turning the camera to look at that player so we can use the look at function like this this dot transform dot look at and then the player dot position. Right, so save that. And let's just switch back to Unity. Grab that script and drag and drop it onto your camera. Now, when it's on the camera, you'll see that there's this player exposed variable ready to learn about the transform that the camera needs to follow. And in this case, it's going to be sporty granny. So grab hold of your object that you want the camera to follow and drag and drop that onto the player variable. Now, when we run this, the camera will snap and you can see it's snapped down when you're close up in this case to look at the transform of your player character. The camera's not actually doing any moving at the moment, so it's just always doing a look at in its update. Now, when the character is quite close, you'll see that the look at function is making the camera look down at the character's feet. Now, why is this, if I stop playing, it's going to look at the origin of your model. If we click on the sporty granny character and if I hit the W key and just get in a little closer for you where the axes appear which is this green blue and red system that is the origin of your character and when you do a look at that's what you're going to look at so the camera is going to look at this point and that's why when we press play and we're up close to the character it's looking at that very point there. Now, if the point origin point of this character was like on the head, it would be fine. Um, we wouldn't need to modify the camera at all. But what I'd rather do with this camera is to actually do have it looking up higher at the character, not down at the feet. So we need to add in an offset value of how much we want to look I guess up. So back in the code I'm going to add in another variable at the top 
We'll make it public so that we can edit it in the inspector. And it will be a vector three. Uh, let's call it look offset. And we'll equal new vector three. And by default, we'll put it to zero, one, zero. So it's going to have an offset of one in the y direction, which is up. So it'll go one unit upwards from the character's origin. In this case, it will be up from um, Granny's foot position there and be looking up a unit of wherever one takes us. Okay, so that's the look offset position. Now down here, we want to look at the player dot position plus the look offset. Okay, so let's save that and switch back to Unity and press play. So now if I get closer, you can see that the camera's no longer looking at the feet. It's kind of looking at about this point here, which I kind of like. So she run off into the distance and then she can get closer. And you can see that we can turn around and the camera will follow. Now the camera's only following at the moment in orientation in the rotation, it's not actually going after our character. And we want it to move after the character. So to do that, we have to go back to the code. In order to follow our character, we need to consider two things. First of all, we want to follow the character when it's a certain distance away from the camera. And we also want the camera to have its own speed as well. So we need to add two more variables to support these. First of all, we'll need a distance and we'll make that a float value and set that to five. Now I'm making these all public so that you can actually edit them in the inspector to play around with them. And then I'll make another one public float camera speed and let's make that and set it to like eight I guess okay so this is the closest distance we're going to be to the character so if the distance between our character and the camera becomes greater than five then we want the camera to start following the character at the camera speed of eight to determine the distance that the camera is from the character we can actually use the um, player position plus the look offset value so what I'm going to do before testing the distance the camera is away is actually put those values that calculation into another variable so let's call it vector 3 look position and we're going to make that equal the point that the camera is looking at. Then in this part of the code, we'll actually do a look at the look position. Right, so this will still work exactly the same way as it did before. We've just added in this new variable, which I'm going to use now to test for the distance. So if vector3.distance, if you're not familiar with all of the vector3 uh, mathematical uh, what are they called, methods that are attached to it, you should go and have a look at the Unity scripting reference because it's got a lot of great functions that work out all sorts of things that we used to have to do by hand. Uh, anyway, so this is, we're finding the distance between the position of the camera, so that would be this dot transform dot position and where it's looking at, so the look position. And we're saying that if that distance becomes greater than distance, greater than five in this case, that's when we want to move our camera. So we will go this dot transform dot translate. And we're going to translate the camera along its forward vector, which is its Z axis, because we're doing a look at which will turn the camera to look along. If I go back to here and select my camera, the camera's going to look 
along this axis here. And by doing transform.translate, you actually push the object along its Z axis um, when you put a value in the Z, obviously. So we're translating nothing in the X, nothing in the Y, and in the Z, we're going to translate by camera speed. And I'll multiply it by time dot delta time for smooth movement. Right, so let's save that and switch back into Unity and play. And you can see that the character has a little bit of leeway and once the character gets five away, the camera will start to follow. Now, if you want the camera to obviously be much closer than that, you can select the main camera there, go to the distance and say you want a distance of uh, three. And you could also make the camera faster to travel or even slower. So let's just have a look at that distance of three and let's have a look what that looks like. Okay, so it's much closer to the character. And of course, you can also change the look offset if you want to look up higher. If you wanted to look over this side or this side, this code already allows for that because it has an offset that is a vector three. So it has an X and a Z component as well. Okay, so um, that's it for this tutorial. Now, I've just set up a Patreon account, which is www.patreon.com slash holistic3d. And I'd really appreciate your support. If you want to see more content, and exclusive content that will be on Patreon, please visit there and have a look. So what I'll actually do with this tutorial is extend it even further for you to allow the character to um, freely move uh, back and forward across here a little bit before the camera actually decides to turn and also do a few other little tricks with the camera to, I guess, enhance this code. Anyway, thank you for listening and I hope you've learnt something useful and I will talk to you in the next tutorial.